what is good in your family it's ray j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only neo stock and break down some very important information that just came out because for neo stock to soar they're going to need some very good deliveries and so far neo has been doing very very well so i'm going to break down the latest deliveries report that just came out for neo talk about why neo is doing very very well when it comes to their deliveries and also what on earth do their deliveries include i'm also going to break down some other important pieces of information for neo as well but before i get started before i say anything I've got to mention a couple of things real quick. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire new community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit any amount of money, you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And that includes the chance to win a free Apple share. So please check it out before they run out. You can always sell these 12 free stocks for cash and use the money to buy some NEO shares. The offer ends in just two weeks. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at NEO, we did see a lot of downside in the overall market. If you look at how low NEO is right now compared to its all-time high, but for the long-term future, I do believe that if they continue to report some really, really good earnings, if they become profitable and they continue to grow when it comes to deliveries, that's going to be really, really fantastic for the share price and we will see it soar in my honest opinion. So what happened? happened during their deliveries let's first go over what they put on their page then i'm going to show you their twitter page with the actual bars and everything like that so they delivered a total of 10,677 vehicles in august 2022 an 81.6 increase year over year let's go they killed it they did very very well in august relative to last year and in total you can see right here they uh, delivered 398 ES, uh, ES7, so that's very, very good. And they have a total of 71,000 deliveries for the year 2022 so far, which is still a 28.3% increase. Now, I want to mention that it would have been a much higher increase. They would have delivered way more if it wasn't for the lockdowns in China, which went on for two months and really did affect their numbers. So please note that it's not their fault that this number is still not as high as it could have been. But at the same time, they're still doing super well. I mean, a 28.3% increase year over year, despite lockdowns the last two months is still really, really good. And in total, we have 238,626 deliveries as of August 31st, 2022. So really, really awesome. And I'm confident that Neo could easily deliver over 130,000 deliveries every single year uh, from this point. I, I think they could actually beat that threshold from this point on. And I really believe for the future, the number is going to continue to grow. So when it comes to the specific numbers, this data actually came to us from Shanghai. We could see right here, 10,677 deliveries for August 2022 alone. And that consists of 7,551 premium smart electric SUVs. So Neil is notorious for their SUVs. They're very popular for that. Their SUVs are huge over there. Right? And that's where most of NEO's models actually come from, the SUV industry. But despite that, we're seeing a big increase in their sedans. You can see 3,126 sedans. Their ET7 is going to kill it. They're doing super, super well right over there. I'm also very, very excited about their ET5. That's going to be huge as well. So they're doing very, very well. The ES7, the new uh, SUV that came out, that's the using new technology 2.0, it started to ramp up steadily. So they have 398 ES7s already. And I do believe this is going to increase as well. So each and every single one of the different sectors that they are in, whether it's sedan and SUVs, they're now growing simultaneously in these different subsectors. So it real really really will help their deliveries overall and in total it will help the cumulative deliveries as well so we're seeing a big in increases here and there and that's despite the fact that lee auto and xbong missed on their deliveries they were both down uh, big time so i'm not trying to bash them whatsoever like i mentioned but they were down for the month of august due to many constraints due to many factors and even though that's happening to them Neo still did very well, so I'm very proud of Neo, and I'm still very bullish for Xpong and Li Auto as well. They're good companies too, but like I said before, the facts are the facts. Neo was not affected as much in August; they did very well, whereas the other companies out there were struggling. But I want to talk about something else that's important. Right over here, we have more information that came out. We actually have this chart right over here where they actually 
give us a better understanding of their deliveries and the data. So right here, we have their famous SUV right here. You can see 10,677 deliveries in total, 81% increase. And if you actually look at the numbers, wait, let me actually open it like this. I'm, I'm sorry, I think the image kind of blurred out. So I'm going to open it like this and then open this into a new tab. Hopefully this comes out better. There we go. So it's kind of zoomed out, but I want to actually show you the numbers like this. So the light blue represents 2021, the dark blue represents 2022, and every two bars you see represent a month. So right here, this is like January, this is February, March, April, and so on and so forth. So what are we seeing? Let's start from the very beginning of the year. So right here, uh, hold on, just like that. Sorry about that. So for January, right here, in 2021, Neil had 7,000 deliveries. Then this year, we had over 9,600. So massive increase in January. They were doing very well. F February comes. Last year, they did 5,500 deliveries. This year, they did like 6,000. It's a bit of a drop because in China, they have Lunar New Year. and The, the country kind of like slows down during that time. So it's absolutely huge there. So that's the reason why we have this kind of like a drop overall but it still is an increase relative to the last year then remember the month of march this is one to remember let me see if i could zoom into the numbers just a bit for you guys for march which is right here all right last year neil had seven thousand deliveries in march this year we did almost ten thousand. So we were killing it and these numbers would have just exploded as the time went on but then what happened? Why on earth was there this big drop? The answer is the lockdowns in China. In April, there were lockdowns in China right here in April. And you could see 7,000 deliveries from 2021 for April, 2022 only 5,000. So huge drop thanks to the lockdowns You know that will affect the share price in a way. And as long as we don't get more lockdowns, I don't expect that to happen again. But if they do come, be on the lookout in Shanghai and regions like that. Now. The next month came, Neo started to bounce back a lot. They got a nice increase in deliveries. They got 6,700 for uh, the previous month, which would be around uh, May. And this time we got 7,000. So a bit of an increase this year relative to last year, despite that. Then in June, the lockdowns obviously came to an end. And look at June, 8,000 deliveries back in 2021. This year, almost 13,000. Huge increase. They did very, very well. And supply chain constraints are still affecting them, but not as badly as, uh, as it seems because they are doing very well despite that. For July, the month of July came right here, these two bars right here. You could see last year, we had 7,900 deliveries in July. This year, 10 thousand so big increase right over there again they did very well but it is a decrease compared to the month of june where they absolutely exploded so i really believe as time goes on we will get more deliveries and i think that what also happened was there was a big backlog in deliveries which is why they really had to push extremely hard but right now if we look at the latest report and this is what matters most we beat the previous month and we destroyed the last year we're up over almost like 87%, which is really, really good. Right here for August, last year, we did 5,800 deliveries last year. This year, we're at 10,600. So that's almost double, almost double what we did last year. Absolutely impressive. I'm so proud of Neo. They did very well here. I want to see them in, kind of like continue to improve every month, not just compared to the years, but the previous months as well. So we're starting a new uptrend right here. We had 10,000 in July, 10,052. Now we're at 10,600. I want to see 11,000 for the month of September. Now there are lockdowns starting in China and some regions. I mentioned this in the previous video. I'm not going to draw out the maps this time, but so far Shanghai is not in lockdown mode. So hopefully Shanghai does well. They don't see lockdowns and they continue to improve very, very well every single month as the years go on. So I'm hoping for the best in that case. And I do believe we do have the pot potential to hit over 11,000 deliveries for the month of September. And for next year, by the time next year starts, I wouldn't be surprised if we're starting to get like 15,000 a month to like 20,000. That's going to be amazing as we see new and new uh, factories coming out as they keep trying to improve. This is a really good thing. 
Another thing to remember about is the fact that they're going to be expanding all over the world. So there's going to be high demand for them. So we have the demand. But they just need to really ramp up production, which I think they're working on right now. And as time goes on, I really think it's going to be huge for the company and huge for their improvements and huge for their fundamentals. So with that said, thank you all so much for listening. I zoomed, I zoomed into the chart so you guys can see the numbers more clearly. I hope this is clear enough for you. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And remember, they're doing well right now when it comes to deliveries for the long-term future. I think the deliveries will continue to improve. And that's one of the reasons as to why I'm so bullish for NEO. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. NEO to the moon because the long-term future is bright. And peace out.